what's going on everybody? I'm Coach Anthony More than Human Fitness. I'm Josh. Uh, I just work with Anthony. <laughs> I'm an amateur fighter out of Capital MMA. Dope ass dude. Today we're going to, as you saw in the beginning, I'm going to show you some karateka tips that you can use against a Muay Thai fighter. to the channel check out the next one i'm gonna put a link to the one up top so you can check out some other videos but let's get started for today let's go so a lot of people have been sending me in some traditional martial arts questions because you know today is martial arts the most popular ones are muay thai jiu-jitsu wrestling blah blah, blah 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 but we do have things like karate which are also effective and like i always say the most effective martial arts are the ones that keep you safe josh here is an established and you know very very good muay thai fighter so what he's gonna do, we're gonna start off with just a couple snippets of things you can do against some, you know, we'll say, you know, Muay Thai, um, Muay Thai things that people do that you, know, you kind of see everywhere. Your typical low kicks or switch kicks, that kind of stuff. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So Josh is gonna do a one-two low kick setup, and as a karateka, I'm going to respond as a karateka. Traditional karate, it's not like this, unless you're doing kyokushin, but we're gonna go with the Shotokan style today. So hand loaded in the Seiken style, wider stance, so that I can move back, I can move forward with greater ease. Josh is gonna throw his jab first. I'm gonna parry to the outside. He's gonna throw his cross. I'm going to block, and depending on how good your cross and your block are, it's either going to land out or protect you completely. So as you saw, it landed completely. Now, the difference in a lot of karate styles is, a lot of karate styles that I learned don't have a back step. So when he throws his low kick, what I'm gonna do is, as he throws his low kick to my left side, I'm going to step in and stuff. I'm not, this is how a lot of karatekas check a kick. By stepping in and stuffing, I'm putting my weight in, you see how his, his so we're gonna turn this out like this. As he's here, his weight's into me, he's committed to the kick, but look what's open, his side. So a quick Saken strike, this, to the gut, or quick Saken strike to his face on his right. And that's how you can respond to the jab cross low kick. So one more time, in my shoulder con style, he goes bop, cross, he throws his boom, I stuff the kick to throw it off guard, bop, bop. And I always return my hand back to my original Saken style. It's very important that when you do this, what you don't wanna do is understep, you don't just wanna lean, because if I just lean as he kicks, I'm still getting blasted. I need to cut that power off before it builds up a head of steam. So when he kicks again, what I'm gonna do is wanna step in, whoosh, and now I'm leaning, cutting off that power, making sure that I'm firming up my muscles, and then I'm free to strike, strike, or, in, and a lot of people don't realize this, I'm gonna tr trip you, so, okay. so a lot of people don't realize this, in karate, in traditional karate, I can actually throw. So what I do here is as I'm here, I strike. I'm here, whisk, whisk. now I'm here. So be very aware that when you stuff a kick, you have to get in there, you can't be afraid of that. Also, you're completely taking away all of my power. So the power of my low kick is when my leg is mostly straight, a little bit bent right here. Mm -hmm. If you're here and you stuff it there, I have almost at, like no power, just kind of pushing into you. Exactly. Very much a good point. Appreciate that. Now, the next one he's gonna do is going to be the hook and the cross to a switch kick with his lead left. You see that a lot of times, a lot of Muay Thai fighters, they throw their hook first to lead into it. They get your hands up, they throw that cross down range, get you off balance, and they switch kick, boom to knock you out. So again, as a karateka, I don't have the luxury of taking a back step. I gotta get into him and, and try to end this strike. Okay? So I go outside, he throws the hook, whoosh, now I'm here. Now, from here, as he throws his switch kick, whoosh, I catch, and again, that, that body is open. Whoosh, whoosh, and I'm back. So real time, whoosh, 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 whoosh. Notice how, as he's striking, I can't step back. If I step back, I get hit. I need to cut off the range of his limbs and get inside. Hush, hush, hush. Now I'm here, hush, strike, hush, kick. A lot of stuff you can do from there. Also, just you, that movement mm -hmm. completely throws me off. So when I threw my switch kick, it was kind of lazy because I wasn't quite sure what you were doing. Mm -hmm. It's a different way of looking at it. And you gave me no target to look at. Because when I'm looking at your face here, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden your hand comes across. Not on the one I'm looking at, I'm looking at your glove right here, and my switch kick is gonna be completely off because normally I'd be able to step and quickly switch kick like that. Mm -hmm. And now you kind of brought me into yourself and it's gonna stuff my kick. So I can only be up here. Exactly. 
It's as a karateka, you give a different look, especially when you do traditional martial arts, tra traditional karate. That you're not doing like karate combat, where it looks more like kickboxing. When you do traditional karate, you just move differently. But the main focus, again, is to move in. Don't move back, move in. The last one he's gonna do is gonna be a T. So as he, so we all know that T, yeah, the front T. So as he, right there. I hate that, it makes me wanna throw up my lunch. So he goes again, So again, this can be a karateka's worst enemy simply because we are taught to move straight in. We are taught to go forward. So the thing you can do when he teeps, go slowly, step off the center line. And I parry that with the forward block. Now from here, I have a couple options. I can do a snap kick, listen. Or I can do a karate uppercut, listen. And then I'm right back. But the main thing is to get off that center line. If it's the front kick, I go inside. So I can front kick, this, I go inside. And then I can shake in, uppercut. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can do off that line. Yep. Now when he does the other one, I'm going to push. I'm going to step off. Now, as I'm here, my toes are turned outside. And I did that on purpose, because now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a roundhouse snack. And I'm still getting off the center line. So over time, he throws that back kick. Push. Down here, I strike over. And now I'm over here. So even if he wants to come and strike me, he has to come that distance this way right into what I'm throwing. So front, so front kick. So go off the parry. Make sure that time you, this, this, this. Or the rear kick, so I'm here, this. Now as he, this, this, boom. All of these are dependent on you actually moving in, going forward. Karatekas, we are taught to go forward. Always move forward in these attacks. If you step back, for example, when he throws his jab cross, if I'm stepping back, boom, I'm just giving him more space to kick me. And it's just bad day. He does it with the other side. He goes jab cross with the six side, bop, bop, and say I'm moving back, and he throws his kick. Oy, yeah. You have to cut them off above the knees when you're doing a lot of these kicks. Do not be behind their knee. So, karate is a great sport. It's a great. Uh, self-defense tool, it's a great martial art, and in my personal opinion, it's still very relevant today. More people should be practicing it against styles like Muay Thai so that they can make sure that when, if they ever have to go up against a Muay Thai artist, then they know that, okay, this works for me, this doesn't work for me. Remember, the best martial art is the one that you practice that keeps you safe. Doesn't matter if it's Kung Fu, Wushu, Capoeira, it doesn't matter, but make sure you are battle testing it and don't give up on your art. It's all viable. Again, I'm Coach Anthony of More Than Human Fitness. I'm gonna plug my Instagram. This is my boy Josh. I'm gonna plug his stuff down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please make sure you get back to me. I will get back to everyone in due time. Until then, I